Hello everyone, welcome back to Gaming Flu and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix NBA 2K23 won't connect online issue which is happening for many of the users and how you can fix this app. So let's dive into this. The first one is all about what you need to do is we just need to check the server status. This is the first one. So you can check the server status on the NBA 2K23 and we'll be able to understand whether they're going through any kind of issue or not. So if you check over here in the PlayStation, you can see it is normal, it is up and running. Same for the Xbox Live, it is normal and up and running. Same for the Steam, it is normal and up and running. And even for the Epic Games, it is normal and up and running. So you can see this, it was not going through any kind of server outages. And also you can check over here as well. It has not gone through any kind of issues right now. So this is the first thing you can cross check because uh, this is actually related to the internet because sometimes that's why people ended up in this. If the server issue is progressing or it is happening, you'll be definitely having the error. So the first step is all about you have to check whether you're going through any kind of server issue. Next one is all about we have to check the internet connection. So just go over here in the Wi-Fi because you have to make sure if you're, even if you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you have to cross check that you're not going through any kind of issues or all these things because you should be having a good internet connection. If you're not having a good internet connection, you'll be definitely having a lot of trouble. So it is quite important for your side to have that you have to cross check yourself that you're going through a good internet connection. Next one, you have to update the NBA 2K23. For this, we just need to go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties. Now go to updates and go over here and select this. And as you can see this, we have three options. That is always keep this game updated. Only update this game when I launch it and you have to set for high priority always auto update this game before others. So you have to sh keep in this always keep this game updated and also parallel if you're getting any update options frequently you have to update the game as well. So once you're done with this let's move to the next step is all about it is all about you have to verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties now from here go to install it file there is an option called verify integrity of game file. So as you can see, the game is around 136.1 GB. It's going to take a bit of time because this will cross check every single files of a game. If any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these things are causing these kind of trouble. So it will be cross checking from its end and it will be cross checking whether it's going to any kind of issues and all those things. So just click on the verify integrity of game file. Wait for this to reach 100% age. Once it reaches 100% try launch the game. Next one is all about we have to update the network driver. So just go over here in the start, right click over here and we have to go to the device manager. Now from here we have to go over here and from here we have to select. You have to go over here and you have to select the network adapters. Now from here you have to select the, you have to update the drivers as well. You have to keep updating the drivers. Once you update the driver to the latest version, you can update the driver from here. So select this update driver, search automatically the drivers. Once you update the driver, you are fine with this, just close this and try launch the game. Even after trying, if it's still not working, the last step is all about you can update the window. So just go over here in the search. Now go for settings, so go to Windows Update and update the windows and this is what you have to do. Once you're done with the update, most probably the issue regarding this has to be fixed. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.